Hi right, everyone, uh, Travel Addict Guy here, and I'm here once again with Adventure Elliot. What's up, guys? How you doing today? And Carrie. Carrie the Adventurer. Carrie the Adventurer as we're well, make guys. Her YouTube channel. The Adventure Couple. <laughs> so we're hanging out in Malaga. How'd you guys uh, enjoy it last night, guys? We had a fun time. Yeah, thanks to you. Uh, we went to this rooftop bar, um, the AC Hotel. Yeah, that was awesome. I would imagine during the day it has probably one of the best views in all of Malaga. Yeah, it's an awesome view, guys. And the drinks were good. Our, uh, the subscribers we're with, Spanish Mama Me and her husband, are awesome. Yeah, they're so it's cool. It's so refreshing to meet awesome people. We haven't uh, met other Americans for some time. You know, of course, we're both from the United States, but right. meeting other fellow paisanos that are saying Spanish is a great time and just feels good to speak, you know, the same language. So what do you think about Malaga? ¿Qué piensa de Malaga, Kerry? Ay, que hermoso, que me gusta mucho, que está muy divertido. Estoy so emocionada she, por la playa. Yeah. So she said it's beautiful, she loves it, guys, and she's very excited to go to the beach. Kerry. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. De ¿Dónde creciste? O sea, yendo a la playa, ¿en dónde? En La Guaira, en cerca de Caracas. En, sí, en la ¿Qué playa? ¿El qué mar? ¿El Caribe? El mar Caribe, claro. Uh, so pues, she's used to going swimming to the beach, at the beach in uh, the Caribbean Ocean. Wow. The Caribbean Sea, sorry, the Caribbean Sea. Uh -huh. In northern Venezuela. And that's in Caracas, she said. Uh, it's called La Guaira. La Guaira. La Guaira which okay. is north of Caracas. Oh, Caracas wow. is inland a little bit. But you know, they really have some great beaches down in Venezuela. Okay, so what do you think? This is Larios, guys. This is the main street here. What do you think, Elliot, uh, compared to Madrid? What do you think about the people here? Uh, the Less pe people than Madrid, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more quiet. There's a, a lot more foreigners, though. A lot more Northern Europeans from what I'm seeing. Okay. And, you know, it's just that holiday feel, that vacation feel. Yep. And it's really refreshing when you spend a lot of time in Madrid. There's no beach there. It's getting to be really hot now. Right. And here is just, it's just nice to get away. Well, it's quite I understand why everybody flocks to the Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol, baby. So we're gonna check out some beaches today. We're gonna go have some breakfast now. So we'll see you there, guys, and we'll see you at the beach afterwards. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, we're in uh, Caramelo Salato. I'm starting to really like this place. So I got a smoothie, and you guys got orange juice, right? Yep. Okay, so how is the orange juice? Oh wow, freshly squeezed, it's good. Okay. Está buena? Mm, está okay. Dulce. Okay, okay, super buena. And I'm gonna try my smoothie, guys. It's a strawberry banana. Also very nice. So we're waiting for our breakfasts, guys. We'll show you those when they get here. Carrie got this, guys. It's a acai bowl. Yes. So it's like granola and yogurt. Try it. So, preba. Prebalo. Look at that, guys. Wow. Okay. And it's uh, homemade granola in that, guys. I've had it before. It's really good. Okay, guys, I got my pancakes. Look at that. Wow, that looks nice, guys. Yum, yum. Now I see why Travel Attic Guy has a sweet tooth here because here in Malaga, there's lots of these places that have these good breakfasts and they're relatively cheap. Yeah. I mean, what was this? Four euros? I think it's like four euros for the pancakes. Yeah. I, mean, I would be here every day, especially if I live right That's down amazing. the road. So. Yeah. Tomorrow breakfast here. Uh, she, she wants to eat breakfast again here tomorrow. <laughs> She's already in love. Conozco otro lugar es bueno también. I need it. She needs it. So they're very happy guys so far with the with the food here. So I'm glad to see that. Oh my gosh, what is that guys? This is a slice of toast. Homemade. Where's the toast? I don't even see it under all that. Yeah, it's, it's underneath, but... Oh my gosh. And it's called Ravello or Ravello. Okay. We got some ham, tomato, feta, some chia seeds. Wow, some... how do you eat that, man? I don't know, man. <laughs> if there's anything Americans do is they can figure out how to eat something. Awesome, man. Let's uh, t take a bite and tell us how it is. Hombre. Bueno. Okay, wow guys. What a breakfast. What a way to start the trip guys. Let's do it. Oh man, this is great. Pancakes, look at that guys. I took a bite of that and I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Look at that. I took a piece of that. Got the honey on there. And let's go. Let's try it. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Travel out of guy, the food vlogger. Wow guys, these pancakes are so good. They're so fluffy. They're so light and wow, the flavor is unbelievable, guys. I think they might even be better than American pancakes. Unbelievable. Uh -oh. Are you lying? 
No, I believe him. I believe him. I'm getting my own in a couple of minutes, so we'll okay. see. Okay. Yeah, let us know what you think we kind of, uh, between American pancakes. I know Americans are pancake masters. This is like a, you know, a traditional American breakfast. Yeah. Would, it would have this, plus bacon and eggs, and maybe hash browns as well. Yeah, but these pancakes, man, they're off the chart good. They're good so just alone. delicious. You don't, you, don't, you don't need more. And you got a lot of it. What is this, like bacon sugar on top, or? Those are, that's a powdered sugar, man. Powdered sugar, powdered okay, sugar. that's what, maybe that's what makes it. We don't usually do that in America like that. Usually on French toast, powdered sugar, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So Elliot got the Nutella pancakes, guys. Check those out. Wow. Yeah. Loaded with Nutella. Look at that. Give us a, right. a report on that, Elliot. All right. Mm. Fluffy, chocolatey. I think we have some, uh, what's this? Condensed milk. Maybe. That's great. Some nata, which is cream or yeah. uh, whipped cream. Whipped cream. Mm. Wow. Three euros ninety cents, you guys. That's pretty good. This is a great deal, and thanks. probably in Madrid. What would they cost in Madrid? Even a lot more. Uh, five six euros probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Cinco still. seis euros in Madrid. Wait. Same. Cinco Algo seis. Así. Uh huh. So oh, totally okay. worth it. Okay. No tan bonito. And it wouldn't be as pretty, she says, in Madrid. Okay. Perfecto. I'm here with uh, Luigi. He's the owner of this uh, place. So, muchas gracias, Luigi. Aquí por venir. ¿Cómo está? ¿Todo bien? Super buena, Luigi. Bueno, bueno. Eh, mi amigo se encanta mucho, sí. Genial. La comida es super. Y tú, tú eres de Italia, ¿no? Yo soy de Nápoles. Sí. De Nápoles. Ok, yeah, so he's from Napoli, Italy. Ok, muchas gracias, amigo. Ok. Yo estoy de Marta. I'm very good. Estoy muy bien. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to How see you. How is life? Life is great. Great? You are uh, already on holiday, right? Hello. This is my novia. Oh, hola. <laughs> and hola. I was uh, back in Malaga, por casualidad. Si. Bro, they have a really cool um, yeah, bar rooftop. Yeah, and rooftop. If you yeah. want to come to have a drink, you can come this afternoon, okay. rapier or whatever. Very cool. So and you can see the hostel because now she's clean and, and the, the rooftop is closed. Yep. And the, the hall is closed too. Yeah. And you can see the changes because we did many, many changes. Ah, wait. So it's very nice to meet you. We'll see you Adios, later. See you okay. Later. Adios. I told you, bro. Wow, super nice woman there. And Elliot actually started his YouTubing journey right here, guys. Yeah. Right, on. right here in this hostel. He was here a year ago, right? And you were filming. I was here one year ago. I did not know this guy. He was probably somewhere out with Catman filming a vlog or right. whatever, doing his own thing. Yeah. And uh, I came here and I was like, how do I even start a YouTube channel? Actually, I didn't even meet the Catman then. It was before Catman. Frankie. <laughs> long time, long time ago, and we all had to wear masks. As you see, now we're not wearing masks. Right. And I came here, I just go, what can I do to make a travel vlog? So I sort of researched other vloggers, and I saw they like to do reviews of hostels, of food, of locations, and so everything started here. And at that time, I had like 100 subscribers. Yeah, that's And awesome, one year man. difference, uh, I've, I've grown three or 4,000. Yeah, that's And great, it just man. goes to show you that, you know, you just gotta, not give up. It's such Just a nice woman, and I don't know this place. I don't know. I've never yeah. been to this place. We're gonna so see we're gonna, it later, and it's really cool. You we're guys. gonna take gonna a look like... later, guys, and we're gonna talk to uh, talk to her. She's the owner, I guess. Yep. And she invited us for a drink at her bar uh, on the rooftop. And she seemed like a really nice woman. Yeah, she said she... they've done a lot of changes to the hostel, so yep. that'll be great. Wow. So and she survived the whole pandemic because I remember she was telling me how tough things were last summer with oh, I can uh, imagine. the quarantine and whatnot. Wow. Okay. Very cool. So now we're going to Torre Molinos. Let's go, guys. Tori Molinos. Let's go. Vamos a la playa. Vamos a la playa. Cierra la pantalla. Abre la medalla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Ooh, so we just got off the bus, guys, and I'm so happy I can get this mask off. Wow, doesn't that feel oh, great? Fresh air. That feels great, guys. And it's a little bit cooler so far in Torre Molinos than in Malaga. So that's great. So we're going to head down to the town, and we have to go that way, and then we're going to go down toward the beach, guys. So let's go. But well, first, we got to get some beers from the Chino. Oh, he wants to get some beers, Elliot. It's 5th of July, beer. you guys. Yesterday was United States' birthday. The party continues, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Venezuela's uh, Independence Day as well, Carrie Neff, right? All right. Venezuela. Venezuela, Venezuela right? Ah, sí, es hoy. Hoy. Wow, mira. Wow. I did not know that until today. Muy, muy guay. Very cool. <laughs> 
Qué chévere, qué chévere. <laughs> She's dancing. <laughs> baila, Kitty, baila. Let's dance together. Vamos, vamos, Kitty, net. Baila, baila, baila. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go there. Amsterdam, it says. Amsterdam sex shop. All right, you guys, see you later. It's going. It's closed down, man. Oh God. Another casualty of the crisis. Another casualty. Another casualty. Oh, even those are out of business, guys. You know it's bad times. When you can't even sell sex, it's bad. Okay, guys. Here we are into the center of town, into Torre Molinos. So what do you think? A uh, different feel here than in Malaga, right? De definitely that um, small, it's a little smaller, but you can just tell it's catered towards locals yep. um, more so. And yeah, it's you could definitely tell it's cheaper. Hey, but I like, I like everything. I like all the places. I like to explore the touristic areas, the local places, the non-local, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, very cool. Okay, so here's the center of town, guys, and there are some tourists that do like Torre Molinos. So maybe we'll see this part, uh, he'll change his mind. Let's take a look. Talking about Yao Yao. Que es un Yao Yao. Elliot, Elliot me pregunta que si quiero Yao Yao porque él quiere Yao Yao. Y yo soy la excusa yo para comprar. Yao, yao, <laughs> yao, no, yao, yo quiero Yao Yao, Yao Yao, Yao Yao. Yo quiero Yao Yao. I want some Yao Yao. What is Yao Yao? contigo. But what the heck is a Yao Yao? I don't even know what it is. Let's find out. This is Yao Yao? I guess this is Yao Yao, guys. Oh, it's a Yao Yao. Okay, I thought it was something else, guys. Wow. Pero no tiene las bolas. Nada, vamos. Yao Yao. Yo quiero mao. It's really good uh, frozen yogurt, Yao Yao. It's all right. It's pretty popular. It's okay. I've never, I've never had it. I guess they didn't have what they wanted, though, a Yao Yao. So there's kind of some exhibition going on here, guys. It's like some wildlife photography. Wow, that is so nice. Look at this, guys. Unbelievable. It has, it has the part of the world that it's from. Look, this is from Madagascar. Oh, that is nice. National Geographic, sponsored by Kaisha Forum. Okay. So are these like Spanish um, Congo photographers or just? No, I don't know, uh, but they're taken. Yeah. And and all over the world, they're taken. I mean, look, we got glaciers here. Right. We got the Sahara, we got uh, Africa, Central Africa there. So. But it's kind of weird that they would just put this in the uh, center of town, but they do this kind of thing, guys, in Spain. It's very cultural uh, things they do here, and uh, they like their culture and their, their life here in Spain. So here we go, guys. Here's another day. It's so, so quiet. What time is it, Elliot? Uh, two, uh, three o'clock. Okay, so it is a siesta time, but... Or like the it's you know the relaxed hot. time. It's not. It's not over. It's not that degrees. hot for it to be so empty compared to Malaga. We just came from Malaga and it was around what two o'clock and uh, two thirty, and it was not. Uh, there was a lot more people in the street than here. So it seems like Torre Molinos is still suffering, guys, from from some issues, uh, tourism issues, guys. Look at this. And there's the temperature, guys, 32 Celsius. So that's pretty hot. How many? How many degrees in Fahrenheit is that? Uh, uh, it's you know? over 90. Ooh, that's over 90. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It was hotter yesterday, I think. Yesterday was really hot, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Malaga, I saw yesterday was over 100 degrees. Wow. Yeah, it was hot yesterday, and guys. I think it was the hottest day of the year so far. Okay, I correct. Let me correct. It's uh, 29 Celsius here, which is 84 degrees. Okay, well, that said 32 on that sign. Oh, wow. My phone says one thing, the bank sign says the other, so. Right. Somewhere yeah, between eighty-eight and ninety-five degrees. Yeah, around right there. Here we go. Exactly. Okay, so Elliot's telling me that these uh, Euro nets you shouldn't use them. Why is that, Elliot? Well, first of all, they're everywhere in Europe, and from what I've researched, uh, an American, a, a guy from the U.S., owns these. So it's not even a European thing. They just say Euro net. Right. Well, anyways, um, I've heard people being charged commissions, ridiculous prices, like fifty dollars to withdraw with their to withdraw cash from their US bank account. Okay. And when you click uh, do the conversion, you know, from euros to dollars or whatever, right. that gives them the okay to uh, charge a huge commission. Ah, huge commission. Fine, yeah. It's in the fine print. Yeah, you should and never do that, guys. You so should always uh, go not to a bank. Go without conversion if you do withdraw money. You but should go, go to, to a, a bank. bank. Just yeah. go to a bank. That's good advice. Yeah. Go to Sabadell, go to Caixa, go to Banquia if you're in Spain. Yes. Do not use these tourist traps. That's uh, that's a really good point. In fact, I think I brought that up in other videos. Wow, there's some more places here. Looks like they're closed, guys. Look at this. Here as well, and I just passed a few back there. One of them was uh, still closed down. So 
Tori Molinos, guys, it looks like it is still struggling, unfortunately. So, well, he's getting one of these, uh, looks like a Slurpee thing, but mm -hmm. it's fruit. Yeah, and you can, what do they call that in Spanish? I don't know. They said <laughs> granizado. Granizado, si, 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 si. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't familiar with M. that one either. Oh, it's that summer lemonade taste, you is know? Is it good? So good. Okay, wow. Muchas gracias. Algo más? No, gracias. So here's another one guys, Alquiler. Still pretty dead looking, but it is the middle of the day. Sometimes these shops close down between two and four. So we'll see when we leave guys. If we come back this way, here's another one for rent. So day late and a dollar short guys. It was a little bit late the opening because a lot of these places did not survive. They unfortunately, long enough. they did but not. But they still had to pay like, social security to yeah. the government without getting having anything open so let's get down toward the beach and see i i think everyone might be at the beach maybe that's where they are what do you think elliot exactly okay let's find let's out let's go see where the magic happens let's find out oh uh, there's a couple guys here we just met them it's a polish man so i told him chess <laughs> and because i know a little bit of polish i was in poland and uh, what part of poland are you from guys uh, center of poland the small city i don't think you will know this okay what is it it's Czechocinek. Mm. uh Czechocinek. Okay, very cool. How is, okay. How are you guys? How is Spain for you guys right now? You guys enjoying Spain? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna ask that. <laughs> you like it? Okay, very cool. I was in uh, Warsaw, guys. I was in Warsaw and I was in Poznan. Okay. A couple years ago. Yeah, I enjoyed Poland myself. I love the food there too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what is um? What place have you been to in Spain? Have you been uh, just here, or you've been to other places? No, we were in Sevilla. Okay. No beach there, but very hot. Uh, <laughs> Very cool. Uh, and uh, then Here. again, we visit some friends in a small city close to Sevilla. Okay, nice. Uh, and what is um, what is your guys' favorite part of Spain so far? What have you enjoyed the most? Oh, it's hard to say. Okay. And do you like Torre Molinos? How do you like Torre Molinos? South. The south part. South of, south of Spain. Okay, Andalusia yes. then you like it. Andalusia. Okay, very cool. All right, well, thank you for talking with me, guys. And I hope <laughs> to get back to Poland soon. I really yeah, like so, it there. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Have a nice I'll day. see you guys Pierogies, later. Pierogies, uh, pierogies. Yes. <laughs> Soaking in all the sights and the sounds. What an entrance to the beach. Crikey. Yeah, it's really cool. I love uh, Os this. la playa. Yeah. Us, us as well. <laughs> I love this uh, path here, guys, going down. Wow. And still not too many people. We don't see a lot of people, do we, nobody, Elliot? Nobody. Outside of these four people in front of me. Yeah, there's a few people. So let's see, guys, when we get down to the beach, let's see how many there actually are. <laughs> Here they come now. They're slow, sorry. <laughs> They're doing a photo shoot. Pictures. They were doing a photo shoot. <laughs> so we got some refreshments, guys, Check and out, Carrie got out. a new Alhambra necklace there. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Elliot got his beer. Woo! Maybe you should wait to get to the beach, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's vacation, man. Down here at the beach, guys. What do you think? What's your first impression, Elliot? What do you think? Yeah, this is nice because I like um, how it, you know, the beach is perfectly connected with the city. And uh, again, cheaper. So we have some espetos here. We're going to grab some of those later. And they're on sale, she said, in Oferta. Okay, nice. And the sand's not, I mean, the best that I've seen, but right. it's still pretty nice. And you know, I'm just happy to be at the beach regardless, have a cold beer, and be with my friends, travel out a guy, my girlfriend Carrie, and our subscribers. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, I we're... am happy that uh, we can be here today. Honestly, very happy about that. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it, and we're gonna enjoy this, guys. We're gonna hang out at the beach a little bit, and then we'll probably get something to eat. Like you said, they're cooking the espetos, espetos right here. Check it out. This guy's over here. He's cooking them up right here, guys. Look at that right there look at that look how nice they are wow they are ready to go almost 